More developing news as a family is terrified overnight by a group of mass suspects invading their home. Right now, Providence Police looking for clues and to see whether there's any connection to other similar crimes in the city. Eyewitness News reporter Kate Walsh has the latest. Well, Patrick, I just came from inside the Providence Public Safety Complex, where we got an update for you from Providence Police Major David LePayton about this early morning home invasion. It's unsettling on its own, but also because this is just the recent one in a series of home invasions in about the past month and a half here in Providence. Providence Police say in this case, around 1.30 this morning, four to five mass suspects, all with guns, broke into a home at 22 Myrtle Street. There were reportedly six people home and several were tied up, including at least two children. A man was reportedly punched in the face. Providence police say the suspects allegedly got away with cell phones, jewelry and cash. And Major LePayton said home invasions aren't really common and they're rarely ever random. He said they're looking into a connection between this one early this morning and three others in the past six weeks. He said the motive is still unclear in this case, but he said in the past home invasions have usually involved narcotics. No arrests have been made yet. We're, we're on these, we're, we're working them. Um, you know, we believe they're all targeted. The public in general does not have to be um, concerned um, for their safety over these. Now, in the past three armed robbery, armed home invasions, the suspects were also having guns going into the house. They tied up people inside the home in two of those cases, and another one also involved children, as they did this morning on Myrtle Street. You'll hear more from Major LePayton starting at 5 tonight on Eyewitness News. Live in Providence, I'm Kate Walsh, Eyewitness News.